This equation is probably going to be one of the biggest concepts that you'll ever have to learn in a physics course. And what it's saying is that kinetic energy is equal to one half times the mass of an object times its velocity squared. Now, this equation is something that you'll have to use in many upcoming multiple choice and free response questions. So today, we're going to learn how to derive it with the help of acceleration. So we're going to start off with the fact that work is equal to the change in kinetic energy. Remember that because we're going to go back to that later. So we're going to need some equations with acceleration in them first. And the first one that I can think of is Newton's second law, which states that force is equal to mass times acceleration. Now we're going to use another equation with acceleration in it, and this second one is going to be one of the kinematics equations, which states that the final velocity of an object is equal to initial velocity squared plus 2 times acceleration times displacement. So we've got our two equations down, and now let's solve for acceleration in both of them. So in this first one, it's pretty easy. All you have to do is divide both sides by mass. So you get force over mass is equal to acceleration. And over here, it's a little more complicated. You do need to do a little bit more manipulation, but it's actually not so bad. So let's first subtract initial velocity from both sides. So it gets out of the way on the right-hand side of the equation. So we have final velocity minus initial velocity squared is equal to 2a delta x. And now we can just divide both sides by 2 times displacement to get rid of the 2 and the displacement. And now we have acceleration is equal to all of this. So since we have one thing equal to acceleration and another thing equal to acceleration, since both of them equal acceleration, then both of them should be equal to each other. So force over mass is equal to final velocity squared minus initial velocity squared over 2 times the displacement of an object. Now let's cross multiply and see what we get from there. So cross multiplying this would give us force times 2 delta x and that's equal to this. So mass times final velocity squared minus initial velocity squared. Let's divide both sides by 2. So we get f delta x is equal to m times final velocity squared oops, minus initial velocity squared over 2. All right, let me just clean this up a bit. So this is what we got in our last step previously, and I just rewrote it over here so it can be a little clearer. But what we can do now is distribute this on this side of the equation. So this is really equal to mass times final velocity squared over 2 minus mass times initial velocity squared over 2. And usually we just equate the initial velocity to 0 because an object at rest is going to have 0 velocity. So this entire term becomes 0. And so that's going to be mv squared over 2 minus 0, which is the same thing as mv squared over 2. And as you can see, this looks exactly like our 1 half mv squared that we had up here. Now the final step to pull all of this together is remember that work is equal to the change in kinetic energy. So what we had here is that f delta x is equal to mv squared over 2. And this, f delta x, is actually the equation for work. I went over this in a previous video, and I said that work is equal to the parallel force, which can be written as f cosine theta, times the distance. And distance, d, can also be written as delta x. So really, it's saying that work is equal to this, and since you know that work is equal to the change in kinetic energy, kinetic energy is equal to 1 half mv squared. 